All right, the purpose of this video is to look at exercise 6-2 assembly joints in the uh, Inventor 2021 Essentials Plus book. And uh, we're going to take a look at what are called assembly joints and, and how to create these. So I've opened up ESS underscore EO6 underscore O2 dot IAM. And I'm going to use what's called the join command joint command, sorry, it's right there. And I'm going to click on the middle inside face of the uh, yellow slider block. And I'm gonna go over to my long block here and I'm going to uh, click on that little icon right there. Now, uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go up to this joint box and just to show you there are six different kinds of uh, joints on here the first one is rigid uh, then you can watch the yellow block we have rotational slider cylindrical planar and ball and the one we're going to start with here is called rigid. So I've just clicked on rigid and I'm going to hit apply and cancel, or you can just click the okay button. That works too. Now, if I put my cursor on here and try to move it back and forth, you'll notice it doesn't change location. And I want this to be able to slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to where, uh, we're in the relationships box and this is show if I leave my cursor there I see show relationships and I click on that and I'm going to come out and uh, this is a little glyph uh, of the slider mechanism um, joint and I'm going to right click on that and as long as I get the right spot it'll say edit with at about the four o'clock position uh, on, uh, on a clock, if it's a sort of clock face. So I'm going to hit edit. Now I'm going to change this from rigid. I'm going to change this to uh, slider. And you'll notice that it's going back and forth. It's not going from left to right. I want it to go from left to right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the word align. And I'm going to come to my slider. I'll go to the bottom here and you'll notice, by the way, you'll see that the green arrow right now is pointing off and to the left. So when I put my cursor on this little, uh, on the bottom of the part here, it points the cursor to the left. So I'm gonna select that. And then you'll notice that a line automatically jumps to the second alignment. And now I want to click on the bottom of the long bar. And that's going to uh, allow the slider to go back and forth. Anyways, let's see. I'm going to hit OK here. Now we can move it back and forth. Big trouble here is that it comes off of the black. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go to this again and I'll hit edit by right clicking on the glyph and saying edit. And now I'm going to go, uh, excuse me here, I'm going to go up to the Limits tab, go to Linear, I'm going to click on Start, I'm going to put in minus 2 inches, minus 2, and I'm going to click on the End button here, I'm going to put in plus 2, and I'm going to say OK. Now when I put my cursor on the slider and move it back and forth, it stops going to the off the end of the bar. So what I would like you to do is uh, put this onto a title block and uh, message that to me via, uh, you know, convert it into a PDF and then send it to me on the uh, um, on a title block via uh, email. Uh, you can leave it in this this orientation just like this as an isometric drawing. 